Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about how to determine the circumference of a circle when you know the area of the circle. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a problem together on this first page, and then you have a chance to pause the video and try a problem on your own, and at the end you can see how you did. All right, so take a look at this first uh, circle we have. We know that the area of the circle is 28.26 square inches, and we want to know what the circumference is. All right, remember, circumference is the distance around the circle. So again, we're provided the area, and now we want to know the circumference. So in order to do this, we need to use our two important formulas that you know about area and circumference. So let's write these down over here. So to get the area of a circle, we know it's going to be pi times radius squared. And then to get the circumference of a circle, we know it's going to be pi times the diameter. All right. And the important thing is we have to use both these formulas, okay, to figure out the circumference. So right here, let's just write down use both. All right, so we have to start off with what they've given us, okay? We know the area. So let's first write down the formula for area. So area equals pi times radius squared. Now let's plug in what we know the area is. So we know the area is 28.26. So it's gonna be 28.26. It's gonna equal 3.14 times our radius squared. Now what we're gonna do is one, we're gonna solve for the radius. Now think about it. Once we know what the radius is, can we also figure out the diameter? And if we know what the diameter is, we can then solve for the circumference, right? So let's solve for the radius by dividing both sides by pi. So divide both sides by 3.14. So now these cancel out. So now we end up with radius squared equals 28.26 divided by 3.14 is nine. And then to solve for r, we're going to square root both sides. So the radius is going to be 3. All right. Now, here's the important part. Now that we know the radius, we also know the diameter, right? Because the diameter is twice the radius. So if the radius is 3, we know the diameter is going to be 6. All right. Do me a favor. Put a little check next to that. That's important. So now on this other side, let's use our second formula, which is circumference, right? So circumference is pi times the diameter. And then let's plug in what we know. So circumference is going to be 3.14. And again, let's go back to our, our diameter. It's right here. It's 6, right? So times 6. And when I do 3.14 times 6, I get an answer of 18.84 inches. So the circumference is 18.84 inches. And there's your answer. Okay, and notice our label changed from inches squared to inches because the circumference is the distance around the circle. All right. So again, let's let's reflect on what we learned so far. So so far, you have to use the two formulas for area and circumference. You plug in what you know, right? So we knew the area was twenty eight point two six. All right. Then you use this formula first to solve for the radius. Once you do the radius, you can then figure out the diameter. And then you plug that diameter into the formula for circumference to actually get the circumference. All right. So why don't you take your time and, and try the uh, the problem uh, on the next page so you can pause the video. And then when you're done, you can uh, hit play and you can see how you did. All right. Good luck. All right. Welcome back. Let's say we did this practice problem. So here we know the area is 113.04 square feet. And again, we want to know what the circumference is, right? So to save a little bit of time, I've written down both our, our two important formulas, the form, formula for area and the formula for circumference. So now I'm going to uh, use this first formula to solve for R, okay? So I'm going to plug in 113.04. That's going to equal 3.14 times radius squared. And then to solve for radius, I'm going to divide both sides by 3.14. So we end up with radius squared is going to equal, let me cross this off here, 113.04 divided by pi is going to be 36. And then to solve for r, you square root both sides, which means the radius is 6. And once we know the radius is 6, we know the diameter is going to be twice that, which is... 12. 
All right, so that's the key part we have to get first. All right, now that we know the diameter is 12, okay, remember the diameter is the distance all the way across the circle, right? Okay, now we can use that to figure out the, uh, the circumference. So the circumference is gonna be 3.14 times 12, which is our diameter, and 3.14 times 12 will give us a final answer of 37 point six eight feet all right and again feet is the distance around the circle so area is feet squared but we're going from area to circumference so it goes from feet squared to feet all right how'd you do